Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another Full Game Recap. This is Draft Champions, and here's my team, uh, my best players that uh, I've drafted. Uh, my opponent actually drafted some new stuff because he has some of those most feared cards, so I think he's got a slightly better team than me uh, because I drafted this team a, a few weeks ago. So, um, rolling with the LA Rams on offense and defense, I'm going to be using the 43, and look how I get lucky. This is all CPU. Big hitter stick, uh, basically a big turnover and a touchdown off the kickoff. This guy's in a hole, not a good situation for him. Now, I'm going to be using 34 on defense. I've got a pretty stacked uh, de defense for this uh, team. I have one stock player, but everybody else is players that I drafted. So I'm going to be working on trying to get uh, just a better uh, better overall draft for 34 defense because that's what I'm going to be doing on draft champions. So go ahead and dial them up with the man blitz here, uh, you know, one, one of the more popular blitzes in the game, which is a pinch blitz. And right here he's making some adjustments. And uh, the blitz pressure comes right in and is able to go ahead and get a quick sack. Fourth and 16, he goes for it. I do the cover four version of this blitz. And um, once again, the pressure comes in and he is down in a situation where he is uh, in a pretty bad situation. So he's using a double A gap, uses his uh, safety over there to go ahead and take away uh, a jet sweep. I actually have that a part of my scheme. I got away with one right there. That ball should have been lobbed up. And I'm actually experimenting right here in a gun bunch situation. I actually just opened up this play and looked at it uh, previous before playing this game. So I decide to go ahead and settle for the score, going up 10 to nothing. Uh, I've got, you know, basically 10 free points. No reason to get greedy on this guy. No reason to go for it. He has a nice little run right here. Uh, he finds a nice lane against the cover four shell. So stay on first and down cover four. But this time, uh, the pressure, the guys actually come in and contain. Jump into a cover two version of us. Uh, actually put the middle linebacker in a deep blue and then uh, spy up uh, the opposite side linebacker on the running back with the hope that actually he covers right there. And um, he basically threw an out, but I've got a defender in the area. So this is one of the things that he started starting to compensate for. He started throwing outs to try to compensate against the way I was running my defense. And you'll see how I start making a little bit adjustments a little bit later. So right here, he actually hits a nice little crosser, takes the ball down, uh, gets a nice little first down. So down on a 38 to 39 yard line. I'm back in the uh, cover four shell right here, uh, just dropping people back, protecting the sticks, looking for reads, and I get a nice little uh, block shed with my my, my guys uh, to actually get them go, go back into cover two in the, the cover two shell. He actually has a nice little move with Fuller again, and he's able to go and get the ball down to the nine yard line with that play. So he no huddles. I jump into a, a cover two. Uh, right here, and um, basically, I, I, I'm right in the area, but my defender does not play it because he's a stock player, and he does not inter intercept that ball. He does not make a play of that ball right there, and he actually gets a nice little touch in. So he threw into coverage. He threw into my user, and he got away with him because I was using a stock guy. So right here, I come back to a bench concept. Driver's able to go ahead and take the ball down at the end zone. So very, very quick score for me to get back uh, back on top of him by, by 10 points. He goes back to the flat right here against the, against the cover four shell. This is cover two, but he actually went to the sideline, so I actually uh, messed him up right here. So right now I jump into cover three. I haven't shown it to him the, uh, the entire game. This is a cover three shell. Um, it, it's basically a match principle. And I press my guys, and he quickly actually hits DJ Chalk up top. Um, he beat my defender uh, in that press situation, and he goes uh, gets another score right there. Right here is a real. I hit him with a draw, uh, with a with a dive play. Did a spin spin move in front of him. And I get away with a nice one. He actually he he was it was good stick right there uh, for him. They actually go ahead and bring it down into into the gap right there. But I'm able to go ahead and get away with it. So he's using this 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 spread set on defense. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep taking uh, the the dives. I'm doing dive plays with Tree Cohen. He's not a big running back, but uh, you can see the blockings there, and I'm actually picking up some pretty good yards. So I think this is where he started adjusting, starting to put some more guys down in the middle. I try to hit him up with a draw with the an anticipation he's going to run into some zone. I think he had some kind of a man blitz going on there, and then try to go to the corner route. Um, and he actually went up, so I dropped down to the drag underneath, and right here I actually try to hit a seam route 
he had man coverage. So I'll just settle for the three points, go up uh, by six points, and it's just assumed because he's only going to have time for about uh, four plays or so that he's not going to do anything. So, so one of the things I, I thought about is like, okay, I'm not going to press my guys. I'm not going to let him beat me over the top. I'll let him dink and dunk down, uh, down, the, down the field because he's just going to run on time. He's not going to have enough time to actually get the ball into the end zone. So I'm staying with cover four, looking for crossing routes, actually switch off right there and get a sack to finish out the half. So up 20 to 14, going into the second half, getting the ball back right here. Hit him with a little out route. This is uh, the slot play. If you guys want to see this offensive scheme, uh, I use this. Uh, I broke this down on my Patreon. I broke down a couple of plays um, um, on my channel. So if you guys want to see how this works, uh, you just go to my Patreon. and break, break down this A play scheme. Uh, right here, I actually get away with it. So it's, it's a late read. I actually got the ball off, but it, was, it wasn't a good read. Uh, he had back, the coverage falling back, so I think he was in some kind of um, cover four drop, and right there I'm going to go ahead and hit the corner right there, and then I actually drop it down um, with a little draw play. Now um, I'm in a third and seven situation. I really haven't been labbing um, any kind of uh, gun sets, so I just actually tried to settle down, and I just settle for the three points because I want I want to go up by two scores, put the pressure on him. I I'm really not impressed with this guy's offense. He's had a couple big plays against me, but he really hasn't done anything where I said where I'm like, wow, this this guy's really impressive, and I, I'm I'm assuming. He's going to be hitting uh, those outs so I can actually get him. So right here I get another another sack against this guy. Uh, come back right here, and I think what I did is I, I, I ran with the cover three shell. I just wanted to do some match. I just want to mess up his reads a little bit, not be consistent. Man up uh, the running back just in case he does some kind of a screen play or whatnot. So the running back is chased down, and right here he hits another out route. For a first down, so that was a huge play for him. I actually kept him in the game. So uh, third, uh, first down situation. Go with the man blitz. He actually hits me with another out route on the back inside, and actually almost turns it up. And he could have got a big play out of that, but he, he got a first down. No huddles once again. I go ahead and jump into the cover two shell because that basically is what he's been doing. He's been hitting with these those out routes. So right here, I'm just looking for the little crossing routes right here. And um, he takes off this quarterback, and Troy Aikman is not a fast quarterback, so he's not a threat. Uh, but he's just one of the better quarterbacks and draft champions, and that's why he did it. So right here, he throws to, into my user and able to go and pick him off and take that ball down into the four, uh, 45. So. It, it's one of those situations where you just know he's, you know he's 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 pressing. He knows he's down by two scores, um, working the clock right here. He's staying with that double a gap blitz, and I'm I'm actually chewing clock against this guy, and. Um, this is a stupid play. I should have never played. I never should have went with that empty set. Should have blocked six, seven because he was using a double A gap mid blitz against me, and that was just stupid. So right here, he tries to come back to the outside. I was actually surprised he's actually trying to run the ball right there. I guess he wanted to stay committed to it. And cover two shell right here, uh, manning up the running back um, and actually doing a deep blue. So I've got the middle of the field covered. And uh, right here, um, he really doesn't have anything to go. So I actually just send the dogs after him. He gets rid of the ball smartly, uh, live to uh, play another game. So back to the cover two shell. Once again, I want, it, I want him to try to throw into coverage. And he sure enough, he does. My defender actually plays it. So fourth and long situation. I'm going to go with the dogs right here. He actually blocks a couple guys against me and actually throws right into my user. My guy actually comes up with it with this time situation, and that's it. I'll, that's all she wrote. So, guys, once again, thank you for your support. I'll be rolling out more uh, gameplay with Draft Champions with this L.A. scheme on offense and defense. So thank you for your support, and until next time.